Hey there YouTube fans, how you going? So I've got my little Saramonic microphone, by the way. Um, I'm using that. I pinched it from the car. So, um, all right. Wisdom series, another topic. My goodness, guys. I, me and my nephew had no end of trouble and we're still not sure if we've fixed it. Um, after his Facebook and Instagram accounts were hacked. So apparently he responded to a message where he thought he, it was a friend and um, the hacker said, oh, can you copy this code or something like that? He sent a code. Um, and then he got into his Facebook, got into his Instagram and then um, somebody got scared I, I was one of the first people was contacted. Oh, I contacted my nephew and I said, is this right about this Bitcoin? You made so much money. And he said, no, I've been hacked. And apparently one of his friends lost $2,000 already. And so for several days now, we've been trying to um, reestablish his accounts because this hacker is um, doing all sorts of ads and scamming people and then getting his account blocked and then um, my nephew is is going through the process of unblocking it and then it gets blocked again and he can't knock off the the um, scammer because the scammer went in and changed all the phone numbers and all the emails in his Facebook account um, and that I think his phone number, one of like it's his, the 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 scammer added his phone his phone number and the emails. Um, I think uh, my nephew's phone number is still in there. That's why we can still try and get into it, but uh, it, it's kind of been a, a vicious circle, and the Instagram was completely cut off, and. Um, blocked and he had to appeal because I don't know if you guys know this but Meta owns Facebook and Instagram so it's all one account now and um, he finally got that opened and then we discovered that there's a, another profile on his Facebook in his Instagram and I was able to knock that it took a while but I was able to knock the fake or, or hacked profile from Instagram. And then um, my nephew, Tristan, his name is, hopefully you're watching this, Tristan. Um, he got his, his uh, Instagram account reestablished. And what we've done as well is, soon as we could, we put two-factor authentic authentication on everything. So. The best way I've found is to use the Google Authenticator app. It's on the Play Store, Google Authentication app. Um, so, and, and then I think there's other methods where you could use WhatsApp or whatever to verify your account. I won't go into how we actually did all of that because there are other videos out there. But at the end of the day, um, um, there's no phone number where, where you can call customer service that we could find anyway. I don't think it even exists. Um, it's so big, these corporations, that they really don't care about us small fish. Um, but I guess my point is a few things. Is um, I was very cocky about, oh, I'll just click on this link when I get you know, some kind of spamming SMS or whatever. I am not doing that anymore because I thought you can't get me. Yes, they can. They can get you. Um, it's not worth it anymore. I, th I really think, uh, uh, I, I think everybody should um, get into your security and privacy settings in these apps if you're using them and put on all sorts of stops to get, to stop your account getting hacked. Um, and I think one of the best ways I was saying 
is two th- two factor authentic two factor authentication. That's how you say it. Two factor authentication. Um, it's certainly probably one of the best ways we've got now. So guys, let that be a warning. Let that be advice. At the end of the day, do whatever you want to do. But we have had no end of nightmares um, trying to reestablish his accounts. And they're very important to me. Um, and and it's really convenient to contact him through... Mess- See, Messenger, Facebook Messenger is affected as well. Now, and, and here's the sad news. We don't know whether it's over yet because that guy's information is still on that account. So it could still be hacked again. <laughs> um, we can't find any way to get the second account off on Facebook. Hopefully it was blocked or barred or reported or whatever. See, I got blocks early on, so I can't actually um, report his account as being um, compromised myself because I, because the hacker blocked me because I was, um, as we say in Australia, having a go at him. I was go, I was rousing on him, you Americans would say. So he immediately blocked me. Um, and hopefully this person who was scammed out of a couple of thousand dollars, I hope that they prosecute this person. Apparently, if we understand correctly, the hacker may have been from Nigeria. That's one of the origins of the phone number the other one the other interesting thing that they did was um they posed as facebook on whatsapp and i was kind of half half asleep hungry or whatever and it didn't dawn on me that um well it did dawn on me but i i wasn't quite with it that people who follow my channel know i have fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome so i was wasn't quite with it that day so we fell for um facebook uh we fell for this guy posing as facebook help you know facebook support on whatsapp and he sent through a code and said um tell me the code that i've sent to you and apparently that's another way where they hack you so don't don't reply with any code to anyone that you don't know that you don't know for a hundred percent that it's coming from you know facebook or instagram or something that's my warning to you and to everybody i hope this helps i'll see you in the next one remember to like comment and subscribe teach us out god bless ciao